What is going on guys? It's Professor Fox and we're here with some solo Sky Wars because I decided that everyone has a little Minecraft top game that they play to do topic series so I decided mine would be Sky Wars because it's fun, it's basic, and I can multitask on it. Now this is a really interesting question which actually Ninja Spider please don't kill me if I butchered your name. Asked a question that I always wanted to talk about but I never I always forget to actually talk about it. And this topic is, how did my YouTube channel get its name? And that's actually an interesting story. What happened was, um, well, it's a very short story about that, but it was still really interesting when how it all came down. And it was pretty simple. Uh, okay, so I've never in my life had I judged anyone for what they did, what they liked, anything like that. So, you know, I, I was friends with everybody. Well, a new kid moved into school, and he all, which is actually why I find out, why was, I'm just butchering my story. Well, this is going to be why I find it ironic when someone calls me this in a Minecraft video. Like, he randomly, we talked for a while, I'm not going to say his name in chat, well, in real, I'm not going to say his name in the video, but. We talked for a while, we hung out, we had fun, you know, same basic stuff. I want you dead, I kill you now. And well I died. <laughs> well anyways, randomly, after a few times I was hanging out out of school and stuff, he started calling me Fox. And after I never corrected him because I thought it was a, it's a weird nickname. I just let him go with any went upgraded to Foxy. Which I thought Foxy was really ir funny and it's ironic because, you know, so everyone calls me in my videos, Fox or Foxy. And, I mean, I didn't think much of it. People would laugh at whenever, people would laugh whenever they called me after a while, and I didn't get the joke. I thought it was just a random nickname, so I didn't think any of it. People laugh, I thought they were being weird. So, randomly, after him call, calling me out, and everyone just bust out laughing when he called me Foxy, and middle of school I was was so confused I asked him why why cuz I didn't care personally I really could not care less why but I just found it I just needed to know the reason that everyone thought it was so funny call me this and he's all sh actually shocked when I asked him this question you can see in his face and he's like you're not one this will be more confusing. like one what uh, if you think I'm like a little fox, no, I'm pretty sure I'm human. And he's like, I thought you. I said you're not a fox. I got more validated by theory of him thinking I was some. He might be a little ill in the head, and he thought I was not human. I was an animal in the sky somehow. So I said, no, I am not. I am really human. He's like, oh, I know, but you're not a furry. I got confused because I'd never heard this term before. I was like, what does this mean? What is a sorcery? And after a while explaining, it turned out my friend, he was a furry. And I was like, uh, when he explained what it was, I didn't care. He does what he wants. And he said that, well, I've met a lot of pe people from my, my older friends that I've known longer are furries too. And I thought I got pretty well at guessing what kind of furry they were and if they were furry or not. I could believe that if you hang out with enough of them for a while, you believe that, well, you know about them very well. No. Cactus protect me. No. And so I went, I asked him, like, well, for a while, you're extremely smart for your age because I was in all, I was in middle school classes in the, I was in middle school English because the schools were great together. I was in a middle school level English, but I was not actually that. I was in second grade and I was taking middle school English, so I could see why he'd always think like, you're the smartest professor, and he always made that anal exact analogy was smart as a professor because back at the time, my dream job was teacher, and I was like, I'm gonna be a college teacher, be called professor, did it la professor, insert last name, all this, 
and he's like, you already are the smartest professor. And I thought it was wrong because he moved away, and I mean, after he told me he was furry, I was fine with it. We actually hung out a lot more because well, he was thankful that someone that wasn't one understood what that he wasn't any different than them. So I mean, he didn't. He was surprised I didn't judge him. I didn't leave him. I kept hanging out with him and everything. So we still stayed friends. But actually, became he actually wanted to hang out a lot more. Now he knows. I he verified I'm not, but at the same time, I'm not gonna harass him over it. And then he, after the analogy, he kept making them together. And then right on as a joke, he's like, you, you know, if you ever decide to be a, on the furry side, foxes are pretty, even the furry ones are pretty cunning, so you might want to consider being that. And after a while of him saying that, jokingly, of course, I went, he went and started calling him Professor Fox. Professor Foxy. And he moved away a while ago, and he got really, really sick. I mean, he's in the... He's not with us anymore, but for a long time he was in the hospital, and my second monitor just died. It's okay. I don't need it right now. Want this. And I was a little bit stirred up because I was upset that the next time I hear from him was his mom telling me he died. I mean, what can I do about that? And I felt really bad, but I always could, whenever I think about back at the time I hung out, I'd always remember Professor Fox, Professor Foxy. All the na nicknames he called me, jokingly, as if I became a furry, decided to become a furry, what what to do. They st they stuck in my head. And it actually made me happy because, well, it's awkward, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awkward when someone mistakes you for a furry, when they barely know anything about you. But I wasn't offended by it. And it actually helped me remember us hanging out and just having a good time together. So, so that's when I start my channel series of Luma and Will This Guy Stop Sky Basing. When I started my channel, it was all these names, but they I couldn't stick to one name in my YouTube channel because I wanted to find the one that, that I was most comfortable with. And all that happened was. I would remember that because I was again never like I keep repeating over and over again. You're probably gonna strangle me over it. Never offended. It made me happy. I remember him. So I tried that out, and people called me Fox Foxy over time on their own. And it was like, hey, this is like the good old times. And that started that series, epic, that adventure. He's going for that corner. Snowball, knew it. And, well, so that's start my channel. How my channel name started was I was mis people thought I was a furry. And my furry name was Professor Fox. I'm not good at drawing out, making them interesting. I'm sorry for that. I do make very dull topic stories, I know, but it's just an interesting question. Like, I had no problem answering it, so I must have been fine with it. Two sky basers. It's one of those days. A, move my chunks. Those days of when Skybaser is stalking. Dun, dun. Oh, the other guy died. I know that. Let's go, to, let's go rush mid. I thought he was still alive. I just look up and I'm like, oh wait, there's only two people alive left. 
if I thought. So that's Suicide it Signified the end of this video. And let's go out to an outro. I hope you enjoy this topic this topic episode. And leave a like if you did. Comment more questions about me. If I have enough all at one time, I'll do a QA video. If it's just one really good question like this one, I'll do a topic video about it. And well, subscribe, join the Fox Army, and know when I upload and all that when I start streaming when I stream. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, Fox Army.